Howdy, y'all. <laughs> I am back. Okay, so this is the final reveal day for the um, twist out. Okay, and I've already taken the end clips off of the ends of my hair. I talked about that before. So what I'm going to do, and this is so very important whenever you're doing, um, you know, twist outs or plait outs or whatever you want to call it, um, and you want to style, okay, it is always good to use any dry oil, okay? Dry oil means something that does not have water in it. Very important key, a keynote there, okay? So, and how do you know if it's a dry oil? You look on the back, you find the ingredients, and you look for anything that says agua, water, you don't want to use it, okay? Because if you are a woman of color, all right, and water tends to make our hair frizz. So, you don't want to use any oil when you're taking these down to moisturize them as you go. You don't want anything with water in it because it's just going to frizz you up, all right? Um, one of my favorites, I love um, the canvas oil, dry oil, awesome stuff, softens the hair and oils the hair. Um, this one is a Shea Moisture Body Hair um, Oil. You can use it for massaging, for your body, for your hair, it's just good for some of anything. And what I styled my hair with, I know some of y'all were thinking, well, what did she style it with? Well, you know, what product? Okay. So I went with um, this product. It's a royal. Hold on a second. Let me get it right. I gotta put my glasses on, y'all. Okay, so this is Retro Rich Royal Roots Leave In Conditioner. Okay. Awesome, awesome product. You probably saw some um, infomercials about it on Instagram. It is a good one. Okay, great for styling, all right, because it has a lot of um, essential oils in the hair that is needed. All right, so now, let's take the glasses off. Okay, so what I do, I basically just pour me some oil in my hand, okay? You can never have too much. <laughs> all right, so you see that? Glossy, glossy, okay? So get it all on your fingertips because you're going to be working trying to loosen up these um, twists that you've done, right? So I'm going to turn here for a second. And what I like to do, I like to just kind of coat it on the outside. All right, hold on. I got a little anchor in here, just like a little pin. <laughs> okay, so I just kind of, you know, do each section at a time, take your time, and I like to twist the hair in the direction that I did originally with the oil on my hand, okay? And then I just get a wee bit more, a couple more drops. Okay, and then I get it on those fingertips again. Now what I start doing, because the oil kind of softens it up to a degree, where it's not so tight and what you don't want to do is pop your hair all right you don't want to pop it so you want to untwist it all right and then once you do that look y'all it just comes apart so easily okay so now this is the key thing for styling right okay so you see how that's turned out so then what you do you just grab one of them and I'm going to start in the back. So I just, you know, I just grab a, a little bit like that. And I just kind of pull it apart and twist a little bit. It's going to do its own thing. Okay. So you just keep doing that. You see that? Grab a little bit. Separate it. Twist it a little. Let it go. All right. And wherever it falls, that's where it falls. Okay. So you just want to keep pinching little pieces, separating it. And see, now you see the importance of the oil left on the fingertips, all right? That's just a half of one, all right? So now I'm going to do the other. 
just kind of loosen it just a little bit. Grab the farthest piece back here, okay? And then I work my way forward. All right, got a nice little chunk there. Pull it apart very slowly. You don't want to pop it. You don't want to break your hair. So just take your time and do what you do. Grabbing another piece in the back. Okay, pull it apart. All right. And, and then you determine how thick of a, a ringlet that you want. You want it that thick or you want it a little bit thinner? It's your discrepancy, okay? Whatever uh, the type look that you're looking for. So that one's a little thick. So I'm going to just literally slide my finger right in the middle and just separate that old little bit of curl. And boing, okay. And again, pulling it all the way to the end and let it go. All right. So that's just my top section here, and I'm going to do the rest, and I will be back. Okay, I am back, and I'm all done um, taking out my twists for my twist out look. So, as you can see, I have these awesome, lovely, luscious twist curls, okay? And I just absolutely love it. It turned out really nice. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back. Okay, so if you look at my scalp or, you know, the, my head, you can see that there is no really visible um, parting lines, which is what I love. Um, so that means that now that this style is complete and done, I don't have to go in and rustle it up and, you know, mess up my curls too much. Now, if you want, you might have a few parting areas that you can see. You can always just take your finger and just kind of wiggle it, you know, wiggle it like that and just kind of get rid of the part that you can see. Um, but a key thing that you can do, which is what I always love to do, if you remember on my first video, um, I didn't have distinct straight lines, like you take a comb and you do a straight line and you part and you do your twist. No, don't even do that. Don't part because then it will sometimes remain once the hair is mostly dry. So what you want to do is just kind of, you know, section it with your fingers. Don't part with a comb. Just kind of, you know, section it a little bit. Okay. And um, then that way... When you take it all down, like I said before, you don't have these section holes in your head. Now, if you want to use a comb, that's fine. It's all good. All you have to do, like I said before, just take your fingers and do like this on your scalp, and it will get rid of the lines. Okay? So, you know, to each their own. But anyway, but this is the look, y'all. Don't you love it? I love it. And it's carefree. I don't have to do anything to my hair. I don't have to comb it. Don't comb it, okay? You women of color, you already know, okay? Like I know. Curly hair, do not comb it unless you're intending for an afro, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because that is where the hair will go with a brush or a comb, so don't do it, okay? So, um, so let me see. Um, oh, sleeping at night, right? What do you do? You know, do you retwist your hair? Some people do. Okay, some people do retwist their hair. Start all over the next day. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> okay, so what I do. Okay, so I take a scrunchie. All right, I take a scrunchie like this. And I just very softly, not messing up the curls, just let them do their thing. But you just, you know. Grab them like that, very soft, and pick them up like that, okay? And then you put a scrunchie on, and then a silk wrap, and your bonnet, and you're good to go, okay? Um, another way that you can sleep at night without um, too much messing up your curls, just hold your head upside down, okay? Upside down, and, um, you know, you just kind of coast the hair to swing upside down. You take a... A silk scarf and you bind it 
okay, and tuck it, and then you're good to sleep on, and when you get up in the morning, just get up and shake, and you're good, good to go, and just kind of work it loose or whatnot, so those are my tips of the day, okay, for beauty tips, all right, and I hope you have enjoyed my little video, and um, for those of you who have been wondering how I do my little styles, I hope this helps you. All right, and I hope to see some similar um, twist outs on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. All right, I hope that uh, helps you. Have a good day. Bye.